Ezekiel saw a vision of the third temple. And now we know the temple symbolizes mankind. And the outer court of the temple is measured to be 500 cubits squared. Ezekiel 40. For the outer court represents a place where everyone is invited to enter. For as we know, the outer court is presently given to the Gentiles. As John of Patmos was told, leave out the courtyard, which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, because it has been given to the nations. Revelation 11, verse 2. Now, let us measure the inner court. This area is reserved for those who have chosen to obey God, those who have chosen to follow Jesus Christ. Ezekiel describes this court as being 300 cubits squared. Though still large, the difference in size is intentional. It symbolizes that only those who have chosen the narrow path will be allowed in the inner court. It represents those who have chosen to wash their robes white with the blood of the Lamb. Now, let's talk about the ratio between the inner and outer courts. The inner court is 9,000 square cubits, and the outer court is 25,000 square cubits. This creates a ratio of 1 to 3. Thus, the inner court is one-third the size of the outer court. This ratio points us to a powerful prophecy found in Zechariah 13. This passage tells us that only one-third will come through the fire, purified and refined. His people are put through a process of sanctification, of becoming perfect like Him. Thus, the third temple is a blueprint for the kingdom of God and humankind. In our next video, we will delve further into the third temple of God.